here I am in my backyard lab and I'm going to show you how to find the bulk density and the particle density of soil. So let's do the bulk density first. I'm going to take a measuring cup and weigh it. So I'm going to turn this around. You guys can see if that's no good for me. Okay, and then I'm going to add a 60 milliliter sample of soil, which is a quarter cup. So I know the volume is 60 milliliters, and I know the weight is 100 grams, minus the weight of the measuring cup, which was 25 grams. So your bulk density is your mass divided by your volume. And that's it. It's really simple. Particle density is a little bit more difficult. Particle density, I got have to fill up a measuring cup to the brim. And I'm going to put it in here. And then I'm going to add this soil ever so gently. This is going to take a little bit of time because I want all the air space because the bulk density is including the air spaces and the water spaces and the volume. I don't want to include the air spaces and the volume spaces. So I want to add the soil a little bit at the time so that all the air spaces and water spaces are taken up and it's just the soil. So the water displaced is what I'm looking for. So the particle density is going to be my mass which is the same one I just measured because we're assuming that air doesn't weigh anything. Minus the uh, divided by, sorry. Our particle density is the mass, which we already measured, divided by the volume of the water displaced. And now I'm going to measure out the volume of the water displaced. Which is 25 milliliters. So that's how you find particle density. You're taking that same volume from your bulk density and then you're displacing the solids volume with water and measuring how much water those solids displace. So that you're just measuring the density for the volume of the soil and not the volume of any air pores. And that's it. You got this.